Aceto Corsa and my road to Platinum continues today. I am at the moment in Carrier Intermediate Series 1. Uh, quick race, the first quick race at Vallelunga and the one at Mugello were completed. And the next one is at Nürburgring GP GT version. So the, the quicker chicane in the last sector. So without further ado, let's start that race. What I'll be doing, uh, and that's what I learned kind of hard way yesterday when I was doing first races uh, is to reset the setup so I won't be saving anything and even it should be default I'll be still going into it and doing I'll be clicking reset the setup and then we'll go straight to drive And we can restart at stage and try again. What is he doing at the BMW? That was a really strong hit. It is a constant fight of that car over maintaining the traction. But at least
is I'm staying within a reasonable distance to, to the first McLaren. into him. I really like that MP412. It was a cool car when it was new. But it's still a cool car. That was close. I think I still like it more than some of the new McLarens in terms of the design. That was nice to white in that corner. on the brakes there in that left hander. first, right? But that's just theory.
it's a P1 and a second attempt. First attempt was a failed one. Uh, I spun, but the second attempt was a clean drive and a P1. Much better start than yesterday. And I think the key to winning these races is to resetting the setup for some reason. And uh, I haven't tested it to the fullest yet, but I did some testing yesterday. Resetting the setup before the race influenced the AI. When I was modifying the setup, so I wasn't using the default or custom one, uh, the AI was become they was they were becoming really really fast. Once I reset to default. The car becomes harder to drive, you have to be very careful with the accelerator, but at the same time, the AI seems to be impacted by it in some, some way as well, and it's, uh, it's you know, even, in, even though you're in the harder to drive car, it's manageable to win the AI. I don't know why that happens. I don't know if you know AI drives faster because they know you modified the setup and the game is programmed that way or not. I have no idea. But <coughs> okay, trophy earned. Uh, I don't know what the trophy is. We'll check it later. But I want to move to another race, another quick race. This time at Silverton. Silver. Uh, what was the description of the previous one? The Super Sport Series is moving to Nürburgring. Expect German manufacturers to show up in big numbers with their usual sports cars plus a couple of super prizes. Okay, and then we have quick race at Silverstone. Silverstone should be the home of McLaren. Nevertheless, the truck has some very fast left-right sequences that could bring the car to its limits. Some other lightweight British sports cars might be able to keep their tires fresh and come back towards the end of the race, so you better keep an eye for them. Okay, any information about this race? Tell me how many laps or statistics. Doesn't tell me here as well. Okay, so it's a guessing game. So this time we'll have a different approach. So this time I will actually try to modify the setup. And we'll see if this is going to influence the AI in a way. So I'm keeping the same difficulty medium for all my career. Sometimes I go higher, but for now I'm staying medium. So I won't be, actually I will modify the fuel. I don't need 30 liters, 17. I'm, as, I'm expecting this to be a four laps long race. I'm going to modify the pressure because the semi slicks are cooling down rather quickly and at higher pressure values. And I'm going to keep the electronics at one. Yeah, one. If I reset the stuff, it goes to two. I don't know why, because as you can as you can see right here, it's it's in one by default. But if I reset the, it goes to two and the car becomes harder to drive. So I'm going to keep it at one. I'm going to save this. That is M412 race. Yeah. Save. And we're going to drive. And I'm expecting now that McLaren or whoever is in the first place, because I can see McLaren here on my right. So whoever's in the first place to drive really, really fast. Okay, let's try to grab a few positions and start. But I think it's the Xish on the first place, a Lotus. Not a bad start. I found a few gaps which allowed me to quickly jump a few positions. So now, at what seems to be a lower settings for TC, I can be 
free bonus with the accelerator and I can just press it as, as I wish without worrying the spin, the spin that McLaren and what it seems to me at that stage is that those lightweight lotuses are faster in the turns, they negotiate them better, but I have that power of a McLaren on straights. Okay, so this test with custom setup is not going to work because I expected that blue McLaren to be starting for the first position as uh, as it was on the previous three races and it was super fast to start with but this time it's a Lotus and uh, I'm gaining enough advantage over the Lotus in straight so I don't have to worry about it in turns not twitch at all now in terms of the full accelerator. I can drop the hammer and I still don't have to worry about anything. But it's a nice change. That Lotus is, uh, is not causing any danger at the moment, but it is close enough that in case of any mistake on my side, I'm going to lose that first position, so I have to maintain the focus. But this race is surprisingly easy in comparison to the others in that intermediate series. I think if that would be a different version of uh, Silverstone, the National maybe, And I, I think if that would be national, that Lotuses might have some advantage. But on the GP version of this long straight, that McLaren shines. That's lap two. starting lap 3 and this is without any practice or preparation this is just jump into the car on the race start drive so far it goes smoothly I can still see the Lotus in my mirror, but it's far enough to not have to worry about it at that stage. 
doesn't mean I can relax. Sim racing is always about maintaining focus for the whole of the event. I raced with many people who were faster than me on a single lap. They were so-called hot lappers. But they couldn't maintain the focus during the race and that's how they were losing. takes something like 0 0.2 seconds so And it was quite an easy win this time. I guess I was lucky that uh, second McLaren wasn't starting from P1. I'm sure it would be a harder race. Let's wait for everyone to cross the finish line so we can get the results and the uh, tier assignment. It's tier 3, first place. And where was that McLaren? I was second. And his best time was very close to what my best time was. Now, I don't know if he 
had a chance to do a full clean up or he was still overtaking the last lap. But if I was starting last and he was starting first, with those times we consider, I probably wouldn't be able to catch him. Okay, and it's time to move to the next event, event five, and the last one. And it's McLaren and Monza. So Monza is the Speed Kingdom, the Formula One truck with the fastest straights. In a car like the McLaren, you can achieve some amazing top speeds. But remember, you're still on the tires, so you better watch out your braking distances. Also, we heard that some rare Ferrari cars might show up. That will be a 40 there, that's a fast car. But I think it's harder to drive than McLaren. Okay, I'll be doing the same changes I did in the previous race. Uh, Monza high speed truck. I'm assuming the fuel consumption will be a bit higher, but 20 liters should be enough. Uh, I'm going to reduce the... I'm going to reduce even more because I'm assuming these long straights will be cooling this down, cooling the tires down. We are some semi-slicks still, and we're keeping the electronics where it is, which is one. Let's save it. MP4 race, and that's it. Save. Let's drive. What do we have here? Some BMWs, some Lotuses, some Ferraris. My gearbox broke. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to drive it. I'm going to drive it just to see how the braking points feel, where they are, how the monster feels so nice. So my best lap was one minute, sorry, two minutes. You see the traction control changed to two, two, as it showed at the top of the screen. It means that the car will be sh really twitchy to drive. That BMW tricked me. <laughs> okay, so that BMW tricked me in the previous launch. Okay, that felt like a good start. Let's find some gaps here. Okay, we're quick. Too early, didn't I? Uh, that was a horrible mistake. Another restart. So not a bad, not a bad start as last time. too many mistakes this time but this is uh, effect of driving on the on the default set on the one which you reset to do. that wasn't a good start I got stuck there So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, oh, wait, reset the setup, yeah, go to electronics and change the traction control from 2 to 1. 
that's how I prefer it to be. Okay, and let's try now. What was that? I changed the gears. You can have outside if you want. Nah, that's a uh, lost cause. Uh, restart. Oh my gosh! What happened here? Okay, uh, that's another failed attempt. That was a good start, but I was late on brakes. And that's the F40 stage 2. Oh, that sound is beautiful. Okay, I won't be able to catch him. So with these settings I have no chances, so... Oh, I cannot keep it on the track! You know what, I really have enough now. I'm going to reduce the difficulty for that event. That Ferrari on the first place, I tried to... Gosh, he was braking so early. I don't want to win that way. Wow, his brake. Don't know why, but my setup influenced the AI. That was proof now. Good start. Don't break. Plenty of restarts to still the behavior of your eye under different testing the behavior of your eye under different setup settings in my car and traction control system settings which influence them the most. Traction control one when that McLaren is the easiest to drive. Increase the difficulty of AI traction control into two. And the McLaren is harder to drive because it seems like the traction control works helps less but the setting of two makes the AI slower like it influenced them as well
tried to reduce the difficulty by one. And like on the previous difficulty, it was impossible. It was medium. Previous was medium. It was impossible to. But for me, it was impossible for me to catch up that Ferrari. So the second was the best I could achieve. I I was quite close to him all the time, but I could never get close enough to attack and try to overtake. So I reduced it from medium to easy now. And now it's stupidly easy. Like this game is so unbalanced. Like on this difficulty, he disappeared. It's just so stupid. Why, why to have so many difficulties? They got very easy, easy, medium, hard, very hard, and alien. And it seems like the difference in lap times between easy and and medium for AI, for the best AI, is like what ten seconds. So what's the difference between medium and hard, or hard and very hard? They put so little effort tuning the AI, it seems. Maybe just this track, because uh, previous tracks, medium was behaving quite nicely. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just stupid. And I did this race on a PC. That wasn't even fast time. My previous best time was like a second quicker or something, or two seconds quicker. Um, so I did this race on PC and on much higher difficulty, like hard or very hard, and it was a fair play fight. But here it's just pointless. I tried to play with the setup, and uh, yeah, as I said pre previously, the setup influences AI to especially the traction control settings. Anyone can test it if you want. Set it to one, race with the AI on a set difficulty, then set it to two for the McLaren, and the AI becomes easier, and the McLaren becomes harder to drive it to. That's what I'm driving at it at the moment, and I'm traction control at two. So basically, what you do, you go to setup and you click reset and setup. Set up, it will set everything to some kind of different settings. Uh, but that wasn't helping at the medium difficulty level. The AI was still really fast. And on the easy difficulty, they were stupidly slow. So that's what we have to deal with in terms of the Corsa. My first try, the best AI achieved a time of 1 minute 56 seconds, if I remember correctly, or 55 seconds on medium difficulty, and we will compare that to
lot I'm done with this race. Uh, it was the worst experience so far. And I'm not saying it was the worst race, it was the worst experience. Uh, some unbalanced, uh, bad AI. Uh, both cars are drive. But have a look at that. Let's wait for them to finish. Let's pull up the times and let's compare. And as I said, this is easy difficulty. I couldn't do it on medium. That's the first Ferrari. Passing the finish line. We have to wait for what, seven other cars. That sounded like two cars, probably McLaren and the other Ferrari. Waiting for another Ferrari, that will be the Italia. Here we go. Now we have some, we have our one Lotus and uh, some BMWs left. That's probably the Lotus. Evora, maybe no, maybe it was a Ferrari. BMWs left, if I remember correctly. Wait time is so 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 long. Ferrari, McLaren, Ferrari, Ferrari, Lotus. So here we go, all of them. So Italia stage three, two minutes six seconds in comparison to two to one minute fifty six seconds on medium. Ten seconds difference between the two difficulties is just stupid. You cannot call it any other way this is just stupid i didn't see that problem on a pc this is playstation 5 it's ridiculous mclaren 2 minutes 0.8 it was 1 minute 58 on medium uh, i don't remember the other times like the ferrari and then another italia another ferrari i forgot there were two ferraris and uh, Bora and two bmws the carabotas yeah, so it's a, it's a first place, but I don't feel like I achieved anything. I had to reduce the difficulty because the bad AI difficulty design. But I have to say, this is just this race. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Uh, it's not the first time I'm seeing uh, my setup, especially the traction control settings influencing BMW, uh, B influencing AI. But <clears> that's another discussion. I'll do some tests. I run that race uh, on all the difficulties on the default set and we'll see what kind of times the AI will be achieving. I can achieve a time of two minutes and that in that McLaren, that's just me. Anyway, uh, that last race sucked all of the pleasure of playing that game for today. So I wanted to say thank you very much for watching. Have a good Sunday. Uh, enjoy the Formula One race today. And thank you all for watching again. See you next time.